Humans frozen by cryonics could be brought back looking younger after death. Humans could be brought back to life after being frozen looking even younger than when they were alive, according to an expert. The technique of cryonics freezes people before bringing them back to life at a later date. Now Dennis Kowalski, 49, president of the Michigan-based Cryonics Institute, claims that stem cell therapy could help bring them back looking even younger. He believes the first frozen humans would be able to be revived in the next 10 years. Cryonics Institute offers human freezing services for $28,000 per person, £20,200. Kowalski says around 2,000 people have put their names down to be cryogenically frozen by the Institute. More than 100 pets and 160 people have already been frozen at the, the laboratory. He said they are still learning about the process, telling the Daily Mail. After cardiac arrest, you have around 5 minutes to half an hour to revive someone. But it depends on temperature and how long they were alive for. We're finding that when you cool people down you have more time. Kowalski then claimed that stem cells could be injected into cryogenically frozen patients to help repair damaged cells. He continued. We're trying to save your DNA and mind. If all we cared about was your DNA, we could save that and clone you and you would look no different, but it would be a totally different person. There is no reason that it could in the future be possible to reverse engineer nature and bring back an elderly person 20 years younger, Kowalski added. Cryonics, also known as cryogenics and cryopreservation, is freezing a dead body of body parts in order to preserve them. But to actually bring a frozen body back from the dead, there are three major problems that would have to be overcome. Firstly, the cells that cause the person to die, such as cancerous cells, would have to be cured. Cells damaged by the freezing process would also need to be fixed. Finally, the cells damaged by the aging process would be repaired. Kowalski says he's been attacked by people who accuse him of playing God, especially after he took out a life insurance policy to have his wife and three kids frozen after they die. Kowalski explained why he decided to spend £100,000 on having his family cryogenically frozen. The possibility of life after death is explored in Phoenix, Arizona by the Cryonic Society. They believe that cryobiology, the freezing of biological matter, is the answer. They propose freezing bodies in cold storage capsules. Scientists are mostly skeptical. A model demonstrates how one person, a California man who died of cancer, has already been frozen. A freezing liquid replaces the blood supply, and the subject is wrapped in aluminum foil and placed in a capsule at 220 degrees below zero centigrade.